What's up people, it's your boy Jatwam here today in Kerbal Space Program with a craft I call Intermix. Now this one is a nice little hidden VTOL aircraft that has several folds and moving hinges for things to be a little bit more compact and so our rotors aren't just stuffed inside the body and they're not just tucked under the wings, no. These are actually in line to the craft itself and they move as needed. So let's show you what that would look like. And that's our craft. And that's our liftoff. <laughs> totally did not think I was going to do a liftoff that easily, but okay, I'll take it. <laughs> oh man, kick that intro. So if I wanted to come on down, I can just slowly start to descend my craft here. And it's going to be very gentle since all the controls are not going to react as quickly. And here we go, coming down just ever so slightly. And this one is really designed to be like a close support craft. So. I wanted it to be small, compact, and at the same time versatile and very stable. As you can see here, it has it's probably more stable than a lot of the choppers I've been building in the game. And it's coming down for a successful touchdown. And then we can fold it back on up here. Like so. Okay. So that's what makes this craft so unique is the fact that it is designed to be a really quick liftoff craft that can just get up and go. So we're going to go ahead and see how quickly we can do this. All right, so off the ground we go. Turn on our engines, go full throttle. Now, what we're doing here is our fold is actually blended in to our lift so the reason I do this is because when we close all this up we don't want that the RPMs to be active that was a little closer than I wanted we don't want the RPM and torque to be active when we're flying horizontal because that is going to cause us to have a lot of reverse thrust at a very bad time where we're trying to you know go forward so this craft is designed to get around that by combining the thrust and rpm within the fold and then we can just come here at any given time hit our reverse thrust to slow ourselves down and then kill our reverse thrust by using the normal throttle controls and now we're back to just hovering. We're going to try our best to come in here and do some maneuvers. Okay, here we go. All right, we need to get ourselves stable here. So let's go to 4.5. And that's gonna give us a nice little ability to hover at any given time just by pulling back a little bit. Okay. <laughs> So we can actually hover pretty nicely right here. And we are just talking millimeters per second. All right, well, let's see if we would be able to navigate through this tunnel with my terrible flying capabilities right now. Ooh. Okay, I got this. I'm not super horrible at this, right? that was close to that wall that was a little closer to that wall than I wanted it to be <laughs> all right we are really close right now let's get up a little bit off the ground that would be great oh my god we are right on the ground. oh my god 
right on the ground. That's a lot closer than I wanted to be. But it works. It certainly does work. Holy crap. So yeah, there you go. I guess it's uh it's a lot better at close support than I thought it would be. <laughs> That is a close shave as we come out of the buildings, finally. <laughs> oh, let's give some throttle. Oh, let's get out of here. My, oh my god, that, is, that was a close shave. That was definitely a close shave. Alright, let's fold that up back on up and we're out of there. Ooh, invigorating but yes that is a fun little craft and I am surprised how well that actually worked and that was just cool <laughs> we're able to maneuver all the way through everything and come back out unscathed relatively unscathed but not un unharmed mentally maybe <laughs> Well, I'm going to get on out of here. Thank you all for stopping by. If you like this craft and you like the design and the engineering behind it, give me a thumbs up and let me know what's your favorite aspect of it and what crafts you have designed or if you would use a design like this for your aircraft. So let's do a quick hard stop here. And so that way, I, you know, I just kind of want to gauge what everybody's reaction is to these crafts and if you want to see more historic crafts or you want to see more of the uh, engineering type designs either which way uh, just let me know what you would like to see next for now I'm gonna get on out of here um, I love doing these little engineering projects like this and to see if I can make uh, old aircrafts that failed fly so keep that in mind if you have some failed aircraft you want to see fly I am always up to the challenge, but for now, I'm going to get on out of here. This has been your boy Jatois, and we are out. I am out. Hold on, I want to get back up to full throttle before I do the I'm out thing. Because that's a little bit cooler, you know. <laughs> Peace. Oh my god, I love the way that thing folds up. Just... It's, it's such a fun little fold. Peace.